It's coming up on 10 years since the Toledo water crisis. And even though this city hasn't since had the same problem at the tap, some people now say they become more cautious of what they put in their body if it comes from the lake or river. Silver Barker talked with the fishermen in Maumee today to ask if they eat what they catch. Silver. Melissa, the answer is honestly varied. I talked to several fishermen, and while some are still skeptical of the fish, others say absolutely they'll eat the fish after catching them. So the question that remains, are fish from the Lake Erie watershed safe to eat? Take a listen. We'll go fishing and just, we don't keep anything just because stories you've heard about the water runoff, you know, stuff discharged into the river, catfish being bottom feeders, we don't keep anything. Fisherman Rick Suter takes his great grandson fishing every week, but due to safety concerns, they don't eat the fish they catch. Not necessarily the case for fisherman Keith Stiles. The American carp we have eaten before, and of course your walleye and white bass and things like that, catfish. It's what we're targeting this weekend, catfish. But are the fish in the Maumee River and Lake Erie safe to eat with everything that's happened? According to Travis Hartman, the ODNR's Lake Erie Fisheries Program Administrator, some of them are. Something like walleye or perch that are, you know, really popular on Lake Erie and, and of course in many of our reservoirs, sawgai and, and walleye are popular. They're a predator, they're eating other fish, they're low risk, generally speaking, when it comes to thinking about how contaminants work in the environment. Hartman says bottom feeders, such as catfish and carp, are the ones to be more cautious with. Bottom feeders come into contact with, with more sediments, and, and if there are any chemicals or contaminants in those sediments, you know, the bottom feeders are in contact with them. They're interacting with them. They're the ones that potentially um, maintain those contaminants if they're in sediments that are in bad shape. As for regularity and how often you should be consuming these fish, according to an Ohio sport fish consumption advisory released by the Ohio Department of Health, most of Ohio sport fish are safe to eat with one meal per week. In studio, Silver Barker, WTOL 11.